All right, 80 through 84. And the one name that you know you're going to jump off the page here, the Kobe Dean. We thought he'd go in the first round. And they said, well, we'll go with the first pick of the second round after everyone's had a night's sleep on Tampa. Didn't go in the second round. Didn't even go early third round. Now, Kobe Dean is the 83rd player selected, goes to the Eagles. Um, BMAC, you make any sense out of this? Uh, I don't. I don't understand it. I'm starting to see rumors circulate on social media that he declined to get a shoulder surgery, and I think he was advised to do so from some, some of the teams uh, that has assessed him medically. He said no, and I think that's what I'm hearing, uh, what caused this significant drop from Dean. I mean, Pete, we... We've all looked at so many games regarding UGA's defense, and he clearly showcased that he was at least, worst-case scenario, a day-two guy. Yeah, I, I thought that Tyndall and, uh, and Quay. Quay Walker will be better NFL players. They will translate better to the NFL. And if you're 5'10", and whatever you weigh, 225, 230, and your shoulder is an issue already, that means you might be breaking down. Yeah. And that's always a concern. When you have a smallish player at a position, you get concerned about that. I mean, when you watch the tape, he can fly to the football. He's smart. He's instinctive. We see that. But at times he gets engulfed by big guards, and, and that could be a problem. Small linebackers have problems with Pete, that. Pete, can I ask sort of you know, a question that's the elephant in the room that maybe not everybody wants to ask? He's very smart. Can you be too smart? Like, no. Can you get downgraded for being too smart and having options no. other than football? And you got a shoulder surgery already, and this is a guy who go to medical school or do whatever he wants. They go, eh, you know, maybe I'll walk away. I mean, look, I know a guy, Rich Diana, finished 10th in the Heisman Trophy voting, at last Ivy League player to do it. Played in the Super Bowl for the Miami Dolphins as a running back. Walked in at the height of his career and quit to go be a surgeon and go to Yale Medical School. Can you be too smart? No, not if you're a good football player. You can't be too smart. I, I don't think so. I, look, we, we've seen guys. What was the, the defensive back from Florida State? Myron Rowe. He, he's now a doctor. He's now a brain surgeon. He was a smart guy. He wasn't going to be a good NFL player. If you're going to be a good NFL player, go be a good NFL player, then become the whatever you want to be after, after that. And I think teams like the fact that he was smart. The problem is the physicals. He's not a big guy. And smallest linebackers better be able to hold up, and that's the concern, I think. Uh, what did you think? When the, did you have the same grade? Did you have a first round grade on the Kobe Dean? Yeah, he was he was my top 15. He was top 15 guy on my big board. I had him falling out of the first round in the last mock draft I did, but all year long he was a first round talent for me. But I, I think begrudgingly Pete is right about the the injury history and, and the the concerns about durability. Because at the end of the day, if you can't play, it doesn't matter what you did in college, and, and that's a huge concern there. But I wanted to talk about the Marvin Leal who went to the Steelers yes. uh, in the 80s there, pick 84. Here's the thing. I heard the Steelers liked him at pick 52, mm -hmm. but BMAC, with George Pickens still sitting there, huge needs at wide receiver, I think they took him there. And I had other teams say to me, let the Steelers go at 52. We don't like Leal this high. He had a great 2020, not a great 2021. Mm -hmm. So he fell into the round three, which I thought where he was where he might go. Steelers still had him there. I guarantee you we'll find out if they had him ranked higher on their board if they admit that. Yeah. So they got a defensive lineman. They got the wide receiver in George Pickens, yes. and they got their franchise quarterback, Kenny Pickett. All right, so those are your selections, 80 to 84. N'Kobe Dean finally hears his name called. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.